here you go. You're playing right now. That's the Scottish fair right now. Too much Look at sunlight. Fox cool. It made a real fox. Foxes were harmed in making a little tail. Scottish medical tools from years and years ago. Come on. Ah, uh, you just proved how old you are by getting that joke. I don't know. I can't. I don't know the joke. Um, that's silly enough as it is. Yeah, we know the joke. Mom, could we get yeah, a close up? We're gonna put this on YouTube. Could huh? we uh, get closer sure. and look at the stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay, what you have is you have a capital knife, you have a bone saw, a bite stick for pain during the operation, the Catlin knife, after you cut down to the bone with the capital knife, you use the Catlin knife to cut the flesh loose by cutting the, the ligaments and tendons, then you use your capital saw and you cut through the bone, then um, after you cut through the bone, what you're going to want to do is you have to heat seal the blood vessels with a red hot iron or you use the tenaculum you grab the end of the blood vessel pull it out of the flesh and slide a ligature down over it and so you tie each of these blood vessels shut so they don't bleed to death then um, after that you're going to pack the stump you're going to take some fiber like flax or hemp or something and then I've got a bunch of, of astringent liquids here that are preserving, like alcohol, vinegar, turpentine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna soak this up in those liquids, and I'm gonna pack that down into the stump. Then, the last thing I'm gonna do before I sew it closed, I'm gonna put this twine in there, and that acts like a wick. So we, when you get blood and pus and fluid building up, mm -hmm. you're going to, when you get blood and pus and fluid building up, it oozes out through the fibers, you know, like a wick. And then we take our suturing needle and stitch them up. And then send you on your way with a ref referral to my friend who makes hooks. That now, sounds very painful. <laughs> you pass out when they get to the saw. After the, after the operation, I might give you some laudanum. That's, uh, this isn't real because I don't want a DEA on me, but uh, um, the real thing would be opium and alcohol. And now, it, it still hurts, but after you take some, it still hurts, but it, you don't care. Um, the drawbacks, it's got, like any opiate, um, including including the modern ones, you know, Vicodin and, and so forth, it's real easy to kill yourself with it. Um, it is also addictive, just like the modern stuff. You have a lot of surgeons who become laudanum junkies. And it also blocks up your plumbing. It means that you can't go. So... Then you have to go back to the surgeon and get unplugged. <laughs> <laughs> okay.